Hey everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. It's been a while since we did an unboxing, and uh, you know how sometimes you're surfing eBay? Well, maybe this is just me, but I doubt it. I think it's you guys too. You're surfing eBay and you go, wow, I didn't expect to see that come up. Something you hadn't thought about buying. But it's there, it's a good price, and it's like, well, jeez, how can I go wrong with this? What's in this box fits into that category. So, let's open it up and we'll see what it is. I will say that it would have been pretty much impossible for the post office to break the tape on this one. This is very well packaged. In that, that regard, they weren't going to get into it. Short of using some pretty, uh, let's just say, unconventional methods. Yeah. All right. Oh, baby. Nice. Very nice. Let's make a mess on the floor for a minute. What do you guys suppose that is? In some regards, it's obvious. Well, duh, dude, it's an XL12. Well, this is an XL12 that's never been run. Now, that's something you don't see every day. And that needs a little more lubrication. But, you're looking at that going, well, oh, kind of a dirty new old stock saw. And I think, I'll be damned, there's even some, potentially, some UV paint fade there. So here's the story. I've talked to the gentleman who is selling these on eBay. You know, I'll let you guys know how to get, uh, get in touch with his auctions, because there's some more going. So he bought a shop from the grandson of a former home light dealer. I think I got that right. And apparently whatever happened, there were about a dozen saws, maybe a little more, that were just left on the, the shelf in a not very well climate controlled area. Since I'm saying from 1990, because the newest serial number that I've seen come up for auction was 1990. This one is a 1981 uh, home light XL12 and that fuel line actually isn't totally rotten that's so funny it's amazing but anyway uh, I saw this pop up and I'm a little light on the XL12 side especially in the red or red and black and this one had the factory installed metal hand guard so I decided I needed that in my collection. About like I need another hole in my head yet. Here it is. And I'm super stoked to have it. So if you're interested in any of the other saws, that is the eBay seller's name. Joe Walk hyphen zero. Go on eBay. Look that seller's name up. There should be... He's got three saws on there right now. I want to say there's a 360 and two more XL12s. A 350 SL and a Super XL. I think the 1990 Super XL sold today. But I got to say, from my conversations with Joe, this package showing up as fast as it did with the saw exactly the way he described it, I'm going to enthusiastically say buy from this seller. If you're looking for some new old stock, whether to run or to put in your your collection. In my case, it's to put in my collection. So let's talk about that. He's got a lot of disclaimers in his auction for, for good reason. These saws in the shed they were in were exposed to some moisture. Okay, that's just reality. That's why you can see 
kind of some of this stuff, you know, where water may have dripped on it at a time. You can see a little rust up here on this screw. Muffler is amazingly not rusty, I'll be honest. I, I was surprised. I thought it would be a little worse. But again, some of this UV paint fade that's up here, maybe that'll buff out. Maybe it won't. I have no idea. But that's cool. This is a new old stock saw. Yeah, there's a little bit of the white white death, so to speak, right there. And a little bit of time with some wax will take most of that off. Not all of it. This is never going to be a spotless saw. That's not the point. Just one that hasn't run. It's pretty cool. So this has the Zama. So this is a 1981, and it already has the Zama carburetor in it. So that, for, you know, historical purposes, it started at least by then. That kind of switch off between the Zama and the, the Walbro. It is an XL12, but this one has the plastic plunger. So in 81, this does not have that full shielded muffler, but it's got that style muffler, just they hadn't added the shield to the cap yet. They'd already done away with the that uh, kind of odd flat bar guard that they had put on there for a couple of years. Ah, I wonder if that fuel hose disintegrated in there. You never know what you're going to find on a new old stock saw. Oh! I'm not sure I can get the fuel cap off. Oh! <laughs> well, that might be interesting. That might be very interesting. Hate to do that to a cap, but... It's gotta be done, it's gotta be done. I don't wanna see inside that tank. Oh, God! Hmm. I haven't got the foggiest clue why that's so tight. I've never had one do that before. <clears throat> I might have to finish this off camera. Unless it gives way here awful quick. And by give way, I don't mean twist the rest of the cap off in the tank. I heard something rattling. I'm sure you guys probably did on the camera too. I'm just hoping that there's not a bunch of corrosion in the tank. Oh, there is! Shit! Wow, so that did draw some good moisture. Wow. Well, that's what that's what happens when something's left in a shed, you know? Unclimate controlled, so inside of that tank looks pretty gnarly. Very interesting. And even though the outside of the fuel tank yeah, is <laughs> looking pretty good, boy. And that hose is looking good. That's the filter. So that's amazing. And it actually corroded around the threads of the cap. Look at that, it galled them coming out. So interesting. Very interesting. I don't think I would buy one of these and just run it. And he's very clear about that in his auction. That uh, you'd be well suited to, to go through it. Either yourself or at a, at a shop. And again, one of us that's buying it, we're going to go through it ourselves. That's a lot of crap. That's a lot of scale out of that tank. I think I would, I'd have to red coat that if I ever had a dream of running it, but I don't know that I do. We'll see. Maybe someday I'll get a wild hair and do it. For now, my intent is just to clean it up. But anyway, go check it out. Joe Walk hyphen zero. If you're interested in what would end up being a project saw for sure, but still, you don't find them like this very often.